uh, hold on, pause it and hit my blogs. Now, if it doesn't say my blogs right here, it might say create a blog, but we've already got some created, so it says my blogs. But just hit that if it says create a blog. If not, hit, go there, scroll down, and hit create a blog. So, yeah. Um, what should I name it? Okay, I'm going to name it Entrepreneur Lifestyle. kind of long but whatever living the life style hmm. let's go the entrepreneur yeah that would work whatever so um yeah sorry about that guys I didn't you know it's kind of but what I did here is I named the vlog you're gonna have to name there's a video right here too that Clifton put together let's see yeah that's Clifton so yeah he goes into it real well and describes it guaranteed you're gonna want to watch this video even if you know because he's going to explain a little bit of things that he did in this because this is his this is his own thing there's you can't like add any plugins and stuff like that but the cool thing is you get to name your blog and then you do your little blog title you get to pick your template basic if you are advanced user beginners and affiliates you can just hit this if you want I'm going to do basic and GRN people or like anybody really if you want to do like uh, GRM blog, you can do a GRM blog. We did one, but we're gonna just do that. Create blog, put the basic template so I can run you guys through this. Is it loading or what's going on here? Creating blog, I'm sure. Now, the cool thing is you can create an unlimited amount of blogs, clipped and set it up like that. So, this is gonna be our fourth one already, and Brooke's gonna be creating one of her own here pretty shortly, too. So Perfect. You have successfully created your new island blog, Entrepreneur's Lifestyle. Next step, you know, and just read this right here. But I'm going to skip it for right now. Next step. Yeah, yeah. Right here is going to be another video of Clifton's, kind of giving you a little short walkthrough of what's going on here. These are more video walkthroughs, dashboard posts, pages, comments, and your Gravatar. A Gravatar is going to be the picture you see up here. That's the picture that shows right there. And if you don't have a Gravatar, this video is going to do great wonders for you. More videos right here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so look at that. One comment, one approved. That is just the just the crap. So dashboard. Why can't I see the regular dashboard? I switched it up on me. Unless I can go back via screen options. No, I cannot. Okay, so post. You're gonna go right here, posts. And another thing I do just to like see my blog is I go over here and I right click and open in a new tab to see the blog itself, what it looks like now. And as you can see, it's kind of plain. I don't like it. I'm gonna fix that up real fast. Right here is a welcome to your new island blog. This post right here. We're gonna go like this. Bulk actions, move the trash. Actually, I'm just going to hit trash right there. It's a lot easier. Boom. As you can see, this post has been deleted. He's now gone. Sorry, no, no post match your criteria. That means there's nothing. Gone. Everything's gone. Okay, you're going to go down here. Pages. Pages are what show here. Home, sample page, and contact. You're going to want to give this sample page a trash. Hit that trash button. Contact. Right away, let's just go in here and edit contact. Get that out of the way right away. Now you can see up here it says contact. I don't like just the word contact. I like contact me or contact us. I prefer us as it's broken 
Uh, so here is where you're going to write your stuff. On the right, you can preview your changes, you can edit, stuff like that. I don't ever mess with these right here unless you you know you can you can if you you don't want your post to be like uh, visible to the public yet or you just want to do a draft you can hit edit edit right there um, SEO check you will see a little bit on that in a little bit move to trash update um, template contact form blog this is a contact form obviously uh, order just leave that at zero and touch that featured image we'll go in that in a little bit here is the SEO okay so focus keyword uh, obviously it's contact us but we don't I'm not gonna add any SEO to this because it's just a contact page so with that said we're gonna go like this hey friends actually let's go family and friends family and friends Any reason why to get in touch with one of us or contact us for any reason? You can do so by you can do so with one of the methods. And then Brooks Facebook. Over here, Facebook. Look. Copy it. It's a nice picture. All right. Whoops, that's in the way. So paste and then you're gonna want to copy that again. Hit let me just close that real quick. Hit this. This is insert a hyperlink. Okay, hit that. Make sure it's the right thing and title it. Brooks Facebook. And make sure you hit this right here open link in a new window slash tab because you always want your people to stay on your blog as long as possible with that said let's go down Corey's let's go with Brooks you know. Corey's Facebook. Um, I always forget my link. I should just memorize this. Get confused between this one and my uh, fan page one. So, Control V or Command V. Again, go over here. Make sure the hyperlink is correct. Name it. Corey's. Then Facebook, whoops. And make sure you click open link in a new window tab so they are brought somewhere else. My email. There we go. Um, you can add Skype stuff like that too. So. For right now, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to say thanks for taking the time to contact one of us with your questions or just to app with your questions. Taking the time to contact one of us. Brooke and Corey. 
So we'll leave that there. Again, no SEO, no featured image right now. We're just going to go and update that. Now you can watch as that updates. We're going to hit contact page. And it's going to be added in here, as you can see right here. And you'll be able to switch all this stuff up. Okay, so let's go back in here. Dashboard. And as you can see, sample page is still there. Why is sample page still there? Oh, because i got to take it off the menu. That's right. Okay, anyways, we'll go into that. We're we running up on 11 minutes already. Holy. Alright, i got to make this quicker right now. So I was saying there's these, these right here, but you're, to make your log start looking sexy, you're going to want to come into appearance right there. Alright, so upload cover photo. You can start uploading your own cover photos and stuff like that. Um, there's templates too. Should be. I don't know why there's not. Also, my computer's messed up. I think I can't see anything. Okay, here's the menu, sample page. If you just go like this, hit page, come down here and go to remove. And to add anything, they're going to show up over here. And you just select it, hit add to menu. I already got that, though. Okay, so appearance again. Oh, yeah, I need to save. Stay on. Save. Appearance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, there's this little cool phone. Clipped and set that up so it shows what your your site looks like on the phone itself. Um, you can show or hide it. I wonder why I can't see. Why I can't see any photos? Maybe there isn't one templates. Create thumbnails. Oh, okay, okay. Switched it up since last time I created one. Very nice. Ooh. Get out of here. Upload. Media library. Okay, go to upload. Hit media library instead of upload files and then when and then when you get to media library there's going to be a bunch of pre-uploaded templates already in here very nice ones just click one of these are backgrounds okay these are backgrounds that's a background so i think that's a logo actually and these are headers these ones that are kind of thin with the, like gray top and bottom so all from here to here are header images you don't want the Global Resorts Network, obviously, because you're creating your own blog right now. So, you can either get your own header created or whatnot, but for right now, just to make it look good, I'm going to just create, like, use any one of them. I like this one for right now. So, title it, like, your name or something. For right now, I'm going to leave it as that. And that's what it's going to start to kind of look like. As you can see, the mobile site over here is looking kind of good as well. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. Um, yeah, save images. Save changes. Watch it transform. Boom. See, big change. Big change. Okay, appearance, templates, menus, widgets. Hit widgets. And on the side over here, you see there's a search bar, archives, uh, categories, and there's supposed to be recent comments and posts, or just recent posts, I guess. Let me see here. Where's recent comments? We want that up in here. Right under posts. Live's good. Live's good. Footer. Alright, over here you're going to see there's a bunch of widgets. You can kind of come in here and play with these yourself. Uh, if you want to have your Facebook page on the side of your blog, you just come in, you can add it kind of like this. And then you add the Facebook page URL. I'm going to find one real quick. Um, 
this would use mine. Uh -huh. And you just paste that in there, save it, close it down. And you can keep going through, you know, if you want a banner, you want an opt-in widget, I usually put that in there too, kind of down under the comments and posts. We're going to go with a red one. Here, you paste your your uh, your opt-in form code. Sorry, you put post in your opt-in form code of your email responder, so you can start building your list and whatnot. Enter your affiliate link or redirect link. Enter your, yeah, enter your redirect link right here, link and. if you want them to follow up with your leads just click right here like if you don't have your own email responder you can click right here and I'm gonna do that for this one because I don't feel like going in and get my get responder stuff so save close it down see what else we got we got text testimonials you can add some testimonials in your footers or in your sidebars or in the bottom Opt-in widget, features, video, categories, you know, on with it, I guess. Right here, though, this is one important thing, text. If you want to add your own HTML code, pictures, anything, you just take this text, slide it over, copy and paste your HTML code or text in here, and it'll pop up. You know, most people don't know that, so okay, that's saved watch it refresh big change boom there's my Facebook fan page already there's a banner that they'll follow up with and then you got the other stuff there so cool big changes already let's go back in here now go to appearance and go to advanced for sharing oh, it's going to sharing yeah it is let me get some coffee one second Long videos. Um, okay, so available services, drag and drop. I use go Facebook first, Twitter, Google Plus, Pinterest, LinkedIn. Um, good enough for right now. Yeah, good enough. And so, yeah, then we're going to show up there. Right here, you can switch how they look. I hit official buttons. I like the official buttons. Some of you might like the text only. Some of you might like the icon and icon and text. I like official buttons, open links in same window, new window, show buttons on, front page. I say posts, media, um... Maybe some pages. You can do, you, you know, it's your own choices. Save changes. Let that take action. Once it loads, hit appearances. Go to advanced. This is where I'm going to get into it a little bit. Describes right here. What is up? Um, your favicon. Now, what a favicon is, is the little icon you see up here. Where it says island. A little tiny picture. I got one. I hope I got one still. I'm not even going to go into that. Screw that. I don't think I got one right now. So, I'm going to use theirs. Looks good anyways. Come into here. Subscription settings. You can change your RSS URL. You can change how you want things set up. Like, like really just your displayed options. I should say your styling. Okay, background color. I'm going to do an, um, an image. As I said before, there's the templates. You come in and you hit upload, and then you should be able to go to media library or island cover photos. What is in here? Nothing yet, obviously. What a mess up. Okay, so hit media library, come in here, and pick one of these background cover photos that are going to like be relevant to the color of blog you have I have red so I'm going to use I'm thinking black 
as my background. Yeah, it looks good. So, uh, upload. Make sure when you do it, I'm pretty sure I just messed up there, but that's pretty good for everybody here. So what I did is I just clicked upload as cover photo, and I don't want that. I want it to be uploaded as full size. So click full size if it isn't, because then it'll be full size and not chopped up. I was chopped, it was chopped in half. Um, background re image repeat. I don't know. repeat I guess uh, I'm gonna leave that alone right now image position top left center fix scroll um, and then let's see here I'm gonna change this black too Links, change the color of your links, button colors and stuff, change the way your font looks, color of it, layout. I want my sidebar on the right, some may want theirs on the left. I personally, out of testing, think that the right side is better, and some others may agree or disagree. You can add some category excludes here, and, you know, general layout. Feature slider is the slider that appears like on top of your home page. It can either show pictures, you know, maybe a little bit of videos and stuff like that. You can mess with that on your own time. Home page, you can do the content area, the features, how many features are shown, uh, how many blog posts right here are shown. I like to keep the five usually. Testimonials, you can show how many testimonials are shown on your home page. Dynamic images, I don't even mess with that myself, so I'm not going to do it now. Footer customization, how many little tabs do you want on the bottom? I'm just keeping it at four right now. Some may want none. One, two, three, four. Custom footer, custom text custom footer, custom text, you guys can get into YouTube and like Google it or something because I'm not going to go into that right now. I don't personally mess with it because I just don't. Um, some of you may want it though, like, um, I don't know, like a copyright notice or something on your sites. There is already one on here though. So if you name it your name, like Brooke or Corey Franklin or something, it'll be right here. Like. Corey Franklin, copyright 2013, all rights reserved, the entrepreneur's lifestyle, that's obviously the name, title. So subscribe and connect. Um, I don't know, I'm not going to mess with that right now either. Nothing really important. Contact page, contact form, email, change this for sure to your own email. I think you might have to hit enable or enable there. Either way, I'm saving all changes. Hit save, saved. Check out this transformation, you guys. Well, look at that. Oh my gosh. All right. There's the huge setup of your blog right there. Like how you start it. You know, you can change how this stuff looks and everything. It's going to be recent posts there, recent comments there. Um, you can switch how these look and stuff. A post, I guess I could go into real quick, you know. I like, okay, I'm not going to go into the post, but I'll, I'll describe how you come up with the post in the, t the right niche. Like the right niche usually is what you're in. For your first one, it's going to be your journey. You like create your why, a nice post about your why. Like what's your deepest why and burning desires and stuff, why you want to succeed in the, the business and why you want to create your own business online and stuff. Um, 
what to really find a post is very easy actually um, you learn something new write down a few little things out of it and really you should be writing everything you're learning down anyways I have multiple notebooks here full of notes um, but write down a few key, key, key takeaways that you learned from the thing that you like a video or a training and do a video about that and do a blog post about it. If you don't want to do a video, that's fine. Or if you want to do the blog post and rather do a video, that's fine also. But the blog post and video are both longer standing than just you doing it in person. Now remember, a video and a blog post are creating automation for you. You don't have to do anything else but maybe approve a comment and talk to somebody after they comment on your video or blog post. Because what it's there, it's always going to be there. So with that said, everybody, this is a long video. I really didn't mean to do it this long. So I hope you guys stayed to the very end and got everything from this. You can hit post right here, add new, go into that. But you can see post here, and there's another video inside the Island University to teach you further on it. So I hope you guys like this video, and have a good day.